Hey, this is Eamon from ASUS Campus Life here at CES 2012. We're going to take another look at the ASUS Pad Phone here. We took a brief look at it earlier. I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth. As you can see, it's playing a video of the actual Pad Phone announcement back at Computex last year. But if I flip the switch on top, you can take a look in the back here. We can take a look at this mechanism. It's really cool. You pull this down all the way and it locks out. And I can actually just slide that phone out of there. It'll play a little notification tone usually. I think the phone's actually set to silent right now, but then it will continue playing the video from where we left off, right there. It continues playing like it's it's pretty seamless. There's maybe a one to two second lag when you're switching modes, but because Android 4.0 is designed for both phones and tablets, it's going to correctly optimize itself for whichever form factor you're using at whatever time. So as you can see here, we have the phone interface for 4.0. You've got, it's a, it's a lot cleaner, a lot more user friendly. It's very similar to what you'll see on the Transformer and Transformer Prime in the very near future, the 4.0 update. We can actually go ahead and dock this back in. And this is still prototype hardware, so it's a, a little bit tough, and plus I haven't used this too much before. But you just slide it in there, and it might just take me a second. I'm not so used to this. Oh, I think I had it there. There we go and close it in, and as you can see, it transforms very much like a transformer to the tablet interface for Android 4.0. So if you've used any Android tablets, you'll recognize this interface. You've got your notifications up here instead of at the top. Um, you've got the soft keys, which are optimized differently. Um, and you've got your home screens. Your widgets will dynamically rearrange so that you can use them on here. Um, also here, we've got the quick settings and stuff. All can be toggled. And we can go into the settings here. You can see, of course, this is not yet final, so not everything is showing properly. Because this is still probably got a little bit of a wait for this device. Although it is very cool. Um, I am personally very, very excited about this device. I am bugging people all the time to get more information about it. Um, one more thing I wanted to talk about, because on the last video I saw a lot of comments about this. Um, so if we take the phone out here. People were uh, talking about the transformer, or not the transformer, the pad phone, my mistake. We've got the virtual buttons here and the capacitive buttons. Um, people are complaining about both. This is, the hardware and software are both not yet final. So this is definitely subject to change, most likely will change. I'm not sure which way we're gonna go with it, but you're gonna wanna keep tuned uh, for more news in, this, in the future. And if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll try and address them. Thanks for watching.